Domity. It's 10.09 in the evening. Andrea Darlis on 720 WGN, Patty Vasquez Show. With me, Patty Vasquez is out of town for a couple of days, so we are uh, taking over the reins here. Um, I wanted to introduce you guys. You know, we have we have some really awesome guests tonight, uh, so thanks to everyone who's who's been in so far and uh, who continues to be on the program. We have some really fun guests. Um, there's an engineering construction firm in Chicago. It's FH, F, FH Passion. They run a program called the Passion Scholars Program. It's a three-year program that gives Certain public school students real hands-on experience with, get this, some of Chicago's biggest construction projects. It's literally a chance for Chicago public school students to learn how to build skyscrapers. And it was such a cool program. We wanted to have the COO of FH on with us, Chuck Fry. Hi, Hi Chuck. How are you? I'm great tonight. How are you tonight? Great. Thank you so much for being on. When when Micah sent this proposal to me, I thought, oh, my God, we have to have you on. This is most, I would think, most kids' dreams to have an opportunity to learn how to work on projects building skyscrapers. Yeah, well, what you, the one thing that's interesting about our industry is, is that, you know, a lot of people don't know how big it is and how exciting it is. I mean... Honestly, some of the projects, oftentimes the best ones are the ones you don't notice, right? Because people don't like uh, to be impacted by construction all the time. But, you know, certainly if we get people in early and get excited about it, that's really one of the things that we're trying to achieve here. So, absolutely. So the, some of the projects that the company uh, has in the works, I know everybody know have, has heard about this, and I can safely say everybody, O'Hare Expansion. Mm-hmm. And the Red Line expansion, the Red Line terminal, that beautiful 95th Street station now that actually has cameras and, and, and you know, working turnstiles and, and L tracks that uh, won't be, won't create delays. So these are just some of the projects that you have already in the works. Um, so talk a little bit about the Passion Scholars Program and tell everybody what it is. Sure. Um in May, uh, 2015, Mayor Manuel came to us with an opportunity to uh, partner with Westinghouse College Prep on the west side, and we were really excited about it. Uh, we really didn't know what we were going to do with it, but we were very excited. Um, so we jumped right in and worked along with the administration of the school and came up with a couple different ideas. And the one idea was to just do community days for their engineering program, which they started in 2015. And then we went a little bit deeper dive and said, let's create an opportunity for six students per year between their freshman and sophomore year, uh, or for their, yeah, between their freshman and sophomore year mm-hmm. until they graduate to get an opportunity to drill down further as an internship to go out to some of our projects, work on some of the projects, visit different sites, and do things, and really just see what, what the industry and the business is all about. So we've done that, and we're in our third year, and we've got up to 17 students currently uh, with us. Okay, we have to. I have to. I'm going to take some credit for this. Uh, I'm going to have to brag for the very first time this year, Chuck. Four mm-hmm. of the six new scholars are women, outnumbering their male counterparts in this field, which is extremely cool. I think. Absolutely, and they're they're very talented. Uh, the program, and the, I actually this year was fortunate to sit in on the interview process, which is made up of the school as well as well as uh, individuals from our organization. And it was really exciting to see, really how intelligent and committed and extra extra extracurricular activities and a lot of these students are doing, in fresh and, and as freshmen. It's amazing. Yeah, and the goal is to give these young women and and men too, but the four of the six are women, exposure to STEM-based career tracks. Talk a little bit about some of these STEM-based careers. Well, as a part of the program, the requirement is is that the students be on the track for calculus in their senior year, AP calculus, and they have to be, you know, in uh, science three years. So the school really says, hey, if you're going to be part of this program, you're going to commit to certain things through the math and science program. And it's amazing to see we had uh, one student who is in algebra currently as a freshman who was willing to commit to taking two math courses next year just to get into that calculus program, so a track at the school. So, uh, you know, it's a very exciting thing that they're doing, and we're certainly fortunate to partner with them 
um, and really excited to see what the results are going forward into graduation this upcoming senior year. We graduate our first class, which is uh, something we're looking very forward to. Oh, congratulations. That's, that's wonderful. And then these students, they all have expressed an interest in urban planning, construction, and engineering, basically. Uh, sure, yes. And, and, and obviously, we try to expose them to other opportunities of engineering too and certainly we'd love to have them come into our industry our business and things of that nature but if we get them exposed and they stay on a track that is science related engineering related uh, certainly that's a success in our mind so um, but yes I'm, I'm very excited actually about the four being uh, female this year um, we just did our first test and her first uh, uh, thing, which is a personal shelter building this past uh, July 27th. It's very exciting to see some of the things that the teams have come up with. So Right, and to get into the program, they have to apply and, and pass a rigorous interview and application process. So this is not something that's very easy to come by. No, it's not. It's, it's pretty selective, and as I mentioned earlier, it's uh, an interview process where they come in and write an essay. Uh, they, uh, the staff interviews their teachers to see, you know, uh, what their attendance is like. We sit down with them. We sit down with their parents uh, and, and talk through some of, uh, of the things that the students are doing. It's very exciting, and, and they really step up to the challenge. It's great to see. Let's talk a little bit, too. I know uh, um, our home team, the White Sox, um, they're here right here on 720 WGN. Tomorrow, the White Sox and the Park District are teaming up with FH Passion, um, the Create Real Economic Destiny. Let's talk a little bit about this, too. Uh, sure, Chicago cred. So, again, we were approached uh, with uh, this opportunity through uh, Arnie Duncan, who kind of runs the Chicago cred program. And, uh, it's, it's really about... Uh, you know, looking at some of the youth in Chicago that may be at risk uh, and trying to work with them. They've got a program where they work with the, the, the uh, individuals to try to help them get exposure to different opportunities, things like that. We partnered with them, and they're working, we're working along with them uh, tomorrow on a project, a uh, park project. Uh, we've been doing it for a couple of days, and tomorrow is the culmination of a park in the uh, Pullman neighborhood. So we're excited to see, uh, you know, that thing and turn that over to the, uh, to the uh, community. So when I, when, I saw the, when I saw this as well, Chuck, that I saw Arnie Duncan had said at one point he had asked the young men what they wanted uh, from you in return for laying down their guns, you know, and then I put that in air quotes. They said they wanted a park for their kids. That's a pretty powerful statement that what do you want from us? We just want a park. We want to build a park for our, for our kids in the neighborhood. Absolutely, and and I'm excited to say that you know, uh, working with Credit, they brought us the opportunity, and and working with the White Sox, obviously as well, uh, and to really bring that to uh, fruition. And we're excited to do that. So, and their actual drawings are going to be in the park's final design. So that like the work they actually did on this, it's gonna it's gonna come to fruition. Absolutely, yes. Yes, the studio you're talking about, the kids in the neighborhood actually yeah. contributed to it. Cur agreeable, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And what's the park building day? Uh, excuse me? The park building day, I know that's going to include a, a block party. They're going to have a, oh, a, a job fair, too, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah, that's tomorrow, correct. I'm yeah. sorry, yes. Mm -hmm. that's a, all that's coming together tomorrow, and it's it's, it's, it's going to be together. You know, the individual that we hired uh, from CRED has been uh, working on it, and we've got a, a lot of activities planned, so we're excited to be uh, having that tomorrow. One of the Friday builders is Michael Reed, who was actually a CRED graduate and now one of your full-time employees. Yes, yes, he is. He uh, came to us uh uh, through the CRED program and, and was interviewed by one of our uh, superintendent staff and, and basically said down, hey, I've got an opportunity if you're willing to work for it. And uh, sat down and uh, we sponsored him to the union and he's been doing a lot of great work for us. And, you know, here again, we wanted to uh, give an opportunity to, to uh, have him work on this project as well. So. Uh, he's helped us out the last few days on the project as well. You know, through the Passion Scholars and CRED as well, your company's really gotten involved in the community. What made you want to take such a hands-on uh, approach to this? Well, I, you know, it starts with our founder, Bud Passion, uh, Frank Henry Passion, founded the company. Uh, I started with the company in 1996, and ever since then, you could tell that there was a culture of really you know, quietly, but uh, making sure you have an impact in the community that you live and work. 
and uh, certainly that's uh, important to us, the passion scholars through the engineering side and cred through the uh, trade uh, program. So, um, and, you know, we do, we're fortunate to do a lot of different uh, projects through the city, throughout the city. And it's important that we involve the folks uh, that live in the communities and, and try to make sure, maximize the impact that the projects have. You know, Chuck, when we first started the interview, we were talking about the Passion uh, Scholars, and I said what's kind of cool is that they get to work on projects already in the works, the O'Hare expansion and the Red Line Terminal Project at 95th Street um, were two of the big ones that I mentioned. What are the students, what what is their reaction when they find out they are actually going to be working on the O'Hare expansion and projects of this magnitude? Well, it's interesting because, and even more so, one of the things is, is that we expose them to finished projects. We took them out to Jardine Water Plant, but what's interesting about it is, is that they're just overwhelmed, you know, with all the things that go into making a successful project. But when they come back, just like anybody else that's in this business, you see the fruits of your labor and you get excited about it, so you kind of want to do it again. So that's kind of what we're hoping to do is, is is get them excited about it and, you know, understand the technology in their business and understand the different opportunities that really are available throughout uh, getting these projects and the project teams put together to make sure it's a successful project at the end. And we talked about Michael Reed, who's a CRED graduate and now a full-time FH Passion employee. Are there other students who you can see someday working for you, Chuck? Uh, absolutely. I think it's a great program, and I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, uh, just like everything else, uh, you, you know, we've got to work uh, together as a team and come together on some of these things and have an honest communication and go out there and really uh, you know, make a difference. So we're excited to see what happens. We're excited for Michael. We're excited to, uh, you know, see if we can... Uh, continue to hire some other folks. I think it's wonderful. I think it's opportunities that many of these students uh, wouldn't have an opportunity to be a part of something this magnificent and this big. So hats off to all of you. How do people get involved if someone wants more information? Well, right now we're currently working with the Westinghouse school, uh, students, so we're, we're doing that. And then I would say if you're on the other side, you can certainly contact the folks at CRUD and, you know, and, and, and go from there. You know, the one thing I wanted to mention, too, is, is that it's a two-way street. You know, the students really do have an impact on our folks, too. Uh, you know, really giving our people an opportunity to really say, hey, you know, uh, this is the kind of thing that we really want to do and, and participate in, in the community. So it's a definitely a two-way street. So. What are some of the other big uh, prog projects that uh, the kids might be working on moving forward? Well, this past year, 41st Street Pedestrian Bridge, it's getting uh, installed and erected over uh, Lakeshore Drive. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I, I actually watched that being built. <laughs> there you go. So uh, that they were involved in that project a little bit, too. And uh, in the Stinger, the new gates at the uh, you mentioned O'Hare, but the five gates at O'Hare mm -hmm. uh, that we just recently opened in April for American Airlines. So, yeah, a lot of different exciting things, and uh, you know, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, more to come. Very good. Again, give the website one more time, Chuck, and uh, we'll get the word out there for you as well. Sure. www.fhpassion.com. It's P A S C H E N dot com. All right, Chuck. Thank you for your time and congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Have a great evening. You too now. That was uh, Chuck Freiheit, the COO of FH Passion. This is a wonderful, wonderful program. Again, we've been talking about it. it's an engineering construction firm in Chicago, for those of you who are not, who are not familiar with FH Passion. This is a three-year program. It gives public school students real hands-on experience with some of Chicago's biggest construction programs. We mentioned some of them before, and uh, what I think is very cool, for the first time this year, four of the six new scholars are young. Young women. So we congratulate all of them, and we'll be back with more on 720 WGN.